So next up, a match exclusive here on ROHWrestling.com. Tag team action coming your way. First time teaming, two young men looking for a permanent roster opportunity here in ROH. Two very talented individuals. Let's go to Bobby Cruz for the introduction. This tag team match is an exclusive for ROHWrestling.com. It is simple one fall. Team number one at a combined weight of 401 pounds. The team of Sidarius, Thomas, and QT Marshall. That's right, his name is QT Marshall. Might be spelled Marshall. Make sure you get the accent on the right syllable. And oh boy, a team that's hungry for a tag team title opportunity. They want a shot at who's ever wearing the gold. North Carolina's own, Coleman and Alexander. Bobby, one more time, tell the folks who this is. Their opponents had a combined weight of 405 pounds. The team of Cedric Alexander and Caprice Coleman. Nigel, it hasn't been an easy road for Coleman and Alexander here in Ring of Honor. Sometimes when you get the contract, the opportunity to compete full time, you find that it's uh, you know easier on the outside looking in than when you really get involved. Oh yeah, totally. You know, a lot of times people on the outside of Ringer and they watch these guys and they go, you know what? We can compete. When they get here, it's another thing. And it's not as if Coleman and Alexander haven't had their share of victories. They have. Oh yeah. But it, it, again, it's a time for reflection for this team. A team known as uh, in some circles as the CNC Wrestle Factory. So. Cedric Alexander starts off against Tadarius Thomas, one of the most unique wrestlers that I've ever run across. What a unique background this young man has. Been a competitive fighter for 11 years, competed internationally in MMA and boxing and submission wrestling. Shoulders down, highly trained he is in the Brazilian art of capoeira, which is a, a, a unique, very, uh, shall we say, elusive style of martial arts. But there's some straightforward attack there from Alexander. Gets the job done, but you can see the way he dropped down to his knee and spun around to the back there. Smooth as silk, and that comes from that MMA background when you, you train things again and again and again so it becomes second nature. Well, despite that impressive resume, Thomas getting worn out here by the more experienced team. This is the first time where Thomas and Marshall have competed. Thank all you fans for dialing us up here on ROHWrestling.com. All live event information, you can find that here. Hey, wait a minute, Lake is Hope 2. It's also the place where you can check out great pay-per-view events coming up like Death Before Dishonor on September 15th from Chicago Ridge, Illinois. In fact, you can order Death Before Dishonor 10 right now, right here, ROHWrestling.com. Oh, look at that. Just a one count. Wow, you see that? Look at that. Fantastic. Yeah, this, uh, it's different than, say, the Gracie style of, uh, of jiu-jitsu. Capoeira, also from Brazil, really uses a lot of movement, a lot of, uh, you know, elusive defense. Very fluid. And he also is a straightforward boxer, too, and an Eastern Michigan Golden Glove winner. Now, Marshall, who's a different breed of athlete, very confident, some would say cocky, originally trained at the Monster Factory in New Jersey, that legendary training facility. Born and bred in New Jersey. But he is a different breed of cat. Wow! Great drop kick there. Caprice Coleman scores. Marshall shoulders down. Turner was right there, but QT kicks out at two. him around, neck breaker, leg hooked. Barely a two count there. I like it, I like it. Shows experience there. He saw the up and over and uh, just stepped back and threw that boot in. Smart. I'm excited to see this young guy here. See, I love the way he moves. Look at that. Create some distance to close distance. Go to the leg and then oh. back upstairs with the kick. To Darius Thomas is his name, ladies and gentlemen. Two. Look at that defensive stance, though, as he realized uh, Cedric Alexander was coming in. Well, Ring of Honor has always been about so many different styles of professional wrestling, giving everybody the opportunity to compete about each other. Wait a second, see what we're doing here? Now with the leg draped now. Whoa! Marshall, that extra bounce on the rope. 
And Caprice Coleman got that leg up just in the nick of time. Right back, straight forward, QT Marshall. A lot of wrestling experts are tabbing this guy as a future star. Right now, getting blistered with a right hand. Oh, so close! Runs through Coleman with the clothesline. Will this do it? Could this first time team score victory? Perhaps, but not yet. Ever so close to the tag team, you could hear, you could hear the crowd gasp. He's got ever so close, just literally within inches of making that hot tag. All right, so now another tag is made. Darius Thomas is back in. Thomas one time was disqualified in an amateur fight. We're actually doing a moonsault, showing off. Wow, really? Yeah, it's a great story. And a great story as well is Caprice Coleman. The ordained minister thought his career was over. There it is. And the tag is made. Cedric Alexander is in. Up and down. When Cedric hits you, you're going to feel it. There goes Marshall, dumped out to the floor. Full Nelson now. Hold it. Countered. Again. Oh, look at that. Leg is hooked, two, watch out from behind, Marshall in to break it up. That's one break it down, but these four young individuals showing us something here in Ring of Honor. That's what you've got to do if you want to spot. Insiguri, oh! Head first! Lucky for him, rolling for the outside, or that would have been over. Look at the snap in those kicks. Waistlock! Get out! Ooh! Didn't get all of it, though. Still alive. Thomas Woozy trying to go back to that waistlock again, but just hurtled into the corner. What a great, great matchup. An exclusive here on ROHWrestling.com. Cedric Alexander and Caprice Coleman score victory over QT Marshall and Tadarius Thomas. Well, I was impressed with Tadarius Thomas, Nigel. Yeah, without a doubt, like I said, you know, he showed us something here and really a different style. You don't get to see often in professional wrestling. I hope we see more of him. I'd like to see more of Tadarius Thomas. That was, and QT Marshall did well as well. Good at counting for himself, but when it was something about Thomas, that was tremendous. Well, big win, wait a minute, but there's a little trouble here between these two. It was their first time teaming, very emotional situation. I'm sure disappointed in the loss. Wait a second. Hold it. What in the world? What a sore loser QT Marshall is. Well, I never would have expected this. Ring of Honor, you're a multi-million dollar corporation. And you got $10 million worth of talent standing in this ring. And you team me with that? I am a present from heaven. I am God's gift. I am QT Marshall. What an arrogant SOB. QT Marshall makes an emphatic statement in this exclusive match on ROHWrestling.com. <laughs>